The interface status display is a new view in Profile Editor. Here we have the Profile Editor open um, to an F18 profile and you see the interface status view um, showing um, a number of status indications. The first thing I like to do uh, is, is tear it off from uh, Helios and stick it separately onto the desktop so that I can always keep it in view while I'm working in the profile editor. So the first thing that it's complaining about here you see um, a number of red icons and that means that we are not uh, finished configuring this profile. Each of these white areas represents one of the interfaces in the profile. If you hover over it, it will tell you what this interface is. So for example, this is the UDP interface, so it listens to the export script. This is uh, additional viewports, and we'll have videos on all of these later. But um, the main thing is about the interface status display is it will tell you that right now you are in an overall red state. And the way to correct that is to visit each of these interfaces and do um, the configuration tasks to get them into a green state. So the first thing we'll do is here on this DCS interface, we'll just say, okay, actually it gives us a recommendation. It says you should select the interface for A10 and run DCS setup. So we'll do that. We'll use this shortcut, which will take us straight to the uh, DCS interface configuration. We'll do setup. It will turn green. Um, because it didn't encounter any errors. So, so if we want to know exactly uh, what this uh, what was done, um, we can expand these uh, details and it will tell us um, exactly all of the files uh, that were generated and that they're up to date. Um, the, the details of that are not important right now, but what is important is that all this information is here. If you don't want to see it, um, you can filter to, to just warnings so that any um, success status detail will no longer be shown in this view. It, uh, declutter said it might, if you have a small resolution screen, that might help. So that's done over here in filter details. And finally, you can say in this under show this view, you can select if you want to see this, this interface status should pop up if there are warnings or errors, only if there are errors, never or always, regardless of whether the interfaces are. Uh, successfully configured. If you ever lose this display, um, I could close it. The way you get it back is view interface status off the main menu. Um, and then finally, there are buttons down here. Reload status just helps in the case one of these interfaces doesn't fully support dynamic status. And then you can manually click this to refresh it if you d believe this to be out of date. And then the share report button, we're going to do a separate video on. Um, finally, before we move on, there are also shortcuts built into here to um, add and remove interfaces. So if, for example, I didn't want to use the keyword interface anymore, I could hover over this trash, trash can icon. It'll tell you to delete this interface and remove all of its bindings. So I can do that. And it says, are you sure? Interface is gone. If I want to add an interface, I can add this plus button and then get the same dialog that was always there to add interfaces, only you don't have to go to the main menu anymore. So that's the interface status dialog. Um, I use it all the time uh, as my primary status indication as to if I'm done configuring yet.